I mean, I, I actually didn't understand the whole word viral before Patal Lok. Uh, but I think when Patal Lok hit OTT platforms, that's when I realized of what viral means. Like, I wanted to uh, audition for Ishwag's role. I wanted to really do that role. I'm sorry, I really liked that role. But somehow, Sudeep Sharma, the creative director, and you know, the writer, he thought that I don't have the innocence. Which Ansari, you know, I think they needed in Ansari. From casting actors to himself being being an actor, Abhishek Banerjee has had a roller coaster ride to become one of the most sought after talents on the OTT space. Today in Filmfare OTT Showcase, a prelude to the My Glam Filmfare OTT Awards, we chat with the actor about his journey. My first question to you is, as a casting director, what are the three tips you would give any aspiring actor? Oh, God. Uh, I think always remember your lines when you're going to the audition. That's a, That's like very, very important. And uh, don't get nervous. Auditions are not to judge you. They're just like, you know, a performance space. So treat it like one. And don't worry about the results, you know, like how when we perform in any of our like, you know, projects and movies, when you get cast, you don't worry about how it's going to come out. And that like, same way, you don't need to worry about the uh, audition results. So take it, treat it like a performance space. I think I always tell the actors that. I am not able to convince myself about that. I still get nervous when I'm giving an audition, but still, that's a tip I can give as a casting director. What and thank you, you for the purpose? wonderful, uh, amazing, amazing introduction. Thank you so much. <laughs> What do you look for in an actor? I think the presence of mind, you know, it's very, very important that uh, an actor needs to have a presence of mind, you know, beyond the lines, beyond the directions and beyond the dialogues, what an actor can add to the scene and probably surprise us. I think that's what we all like, right? We don't like people who, uh, if we can anticipate the performance, then it becomes boring for us. So something unpredictable, that's that sort of thing, what I look for uh, in actors, yeah. You said somewhere the internet discovered you. Can you talk about that? <laughs> yes, it did. I mean, I think I started my journey as an actor from TV of pictures. Uh, that's the first time I got recognized. And before that, I had completely lost hope uh, whether I would be able to act or whether I would be able to get something, you know, uh, as an actor. But I think uh, that pictures, that one scene, that one dialogue, that became a rage. And then I realized that probably I have it. And then I started taking acting more seriously than I was. What's more challenging, casting or acting? Any day acting. Okay. <laughs> casting, casting is still easy because, you know, you're not really doing it. You're basically making others do it. But in acting, you have to like, you know, you have to really work hard towards whatever, like, you know, character you are trying to achieve. And that's your own thing. So I think it becomes more difficult when you have to perform than, you know, when you have to make others perform. <clears throat> the internet space during the pandemic, uh, do you feel like the audience memories, while you can become a overnight star on the internet and you know through web series the audience memories also become are very short yes yes totally but i also think that because you um, when you do like web series where you have like these nine episodes and they have like bench to watch to you and sometimes i meet audience which which, which have like you know they have uh, seen the show twice thrice i think it's very difficult to erase uh, the memory so soon but yes, I mean, every every new show, every uh, new viral scene will make another start, you know. So that's how it is, you know. But, but yeah, I mean, I, I actually didn't understand the whole word viral before Pata Lok. Uh, but I think when Pata Lok hit OTT platforms, that's when I realized of what viral means. Like, you know, how easily uh, overnight you can be somebody who is known to the entire world. Tell me about your look. I mean, uh, look role in Pata Lok. Was it an accident? I know you auditioned for something else and uh, for Ishwak's role, I'm, I, I think so. And, uh, and then you came up with this. What, what were the notes that you made while doing Pata Lok? Um, no, actually, I wanted to uh, audition for Ishwak's role. I wanted to really do that role. I'm sorry, I really liked that role. But somehow Sudeep Sharma, the creative director and you know, the writer, he thought that I don't have the innocence, 
which Ansari, you know, I think they needed in Ansari. So they said that, why don't you try for Hathora Tiyaki? Your eyes, you know, they, they are like uh, very devilish. So, you know, why, why don't you try that? And that's when I realized that, okay, fine. I actually looked, stared at myself in the mirror for the longest time uh, before giving the audition. And I wanted to understand what he meant by those demonic eyes. And then I said, okay, fine. If he sees the demon in me, probably there is a demon in me. And I should, you know, go ahead with that flow. And I gave the audition. It was a, I think it was my best audition till date. Uh, and so I still have it. I still have it to prove it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that that's how, that's how I, it began. And he saw three and he thought I could do Hathoda Tyagi, which is quite interesting, you know, for me as a performer, that how people might perceive you, no matter how well you perceive yourself, but you know, the directors and makers, they always have different ideas. And uh, I mean, I don't know. There's no note here. I mean, for me, Hathora Tyagi was this guy who I had to somehow capture the, the, the real emotion and not the aggression, not the violence, but the inner pain, you know, the, what he has gone through, the struggles of Vishal Tyagi. You know, that is the transformation for Hathora Tyagi. So, yeah, I mean, for me, that was the thing. And, and that dog, uh, the, the, the scene where uh, Hathora notices that dog in the jail, I think that kept playing in my mind throughout, you know, while I was preparing. And I always ask myself, hey, why, why, why is he like, you know, why is he so soft towards an animal? And why is he like so um, compassionate towards an animal and not compassionate towards human beings? And then things started, you know, making itself clear that the kind of society we live in and how oppressed and repressed uh, people might be in our society. Yeah. Do you write the backstories of all your characters? Uh, no, I don't write. I actually just live. I try to live the backstory. Yeah. I mean, my wife sometimes gets very irritated with me because I start talking to her, you know, um, as the character. And then she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just like, you know, trying to uh, get into my character. And she gets very flustered. In fact, um, uh, for, for Patal look, I think we were driving back from some house party or somewhere and I was constantly thinking about my character and I started crying and because I think I, I started realizing you know what Vishal must have went through and I really started howling and she just looked at me and she's like is there something we want to tell me <laughs> and I was like no 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 you know don't, don't get me wrong but just let my character cry you know so yeah I mean th 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 these things keep happening my, my friends now uh, they've started understanding that yeah I can actually get into character and start talking to them as the character. Is there a, a favorite movie that you have cast? I think Pata Look is definitely one of my favorite shows which I cast and also Mirzapur. So you were casting Mirab also for Pata Look? Yes, yes. I was casting for Pata Look. I also cast for Mirzapur. Oh, lovely, lovely. So lovely. yeah, yeah. Both, both I think are my, my favorite because I think all the actors did a fantastic job. And just we just say hame tarif milti hai, but you know, I mean, they, they are the ones, you know, they are the ones who actually you know, made the show. So, yeah. Tell me about, uh, you know, I, I read somewhere you had said, your mom said, you know, why aren't you not wearing good clothes? You're wearing all kinds of crazy clothes and all your characters. <laughs> so, uh, all these considerations bog you down? Uh, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I mean, my mom is too sweet. She she just wants me to, you know, look good all the time. You know, that's how that the Raja Bacha concept of India. And, and also, like, you know, it's funny because, you know, when I mean, my mom says ki, Are, uh, jo actors hote hai, wo ache kapde hai. they are always wearing good clothes. Why are you wearing these kind of stupid clothes? And who are, and she gets very angry on the makers, you know, because she, in fact, asked me to uh, share Sh Sudeep Sharma's number. She's like, wo number do, jo director pe tumare, you know, ki mam se baat ki ki aise kapde like, you know, how she used to maybe try, probably talk to the teachers or the principal as a school, as a student. She wanted to do that. So in the same way, she wanted to actually, you know, uh, blast my directors for that. But thank God, Rashmi Rocket, I mean, that changed everything. She she saw the movie and she was yeah, very yeah, happy. Yeah. She was she, very, very happy I was to coming to, how did you recite those long lines of dialogue in Rashmi Rocket? Oh, it was really very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. I mean, I, I, I think Amar Kaushik, I was with him uh, during the New Year's and we were in Mahabaleshwar or on 31st Afternoon, pura. I was just, you know, learning my lines. And Amar, Amar is like, you know, what kya, kya kya are you doing? You line yaad Tu to kabhi line yaad karta nahi. I'm like, I have no idea. I have to like, you know, recite these three pages 
and i know that you know there're going to be three cameras i already spoke to akash that are you going to do it in cards or are you going to do it in like you know one flow i said no cards it's going to be one flow so i took it as a huge responsibility because i'm like agar main line hai bhul gaya to sabke samne beizti hogi matlab wo same director cameraman aur tumhare beech mein nahi hogi everybody will know the the cast will know the featured cast will know and i really wanted to you know uh, get that right and also uh, what i realized is that ki practice kitni important hai because in theater during theater days we used to like you know remember 60 70 pages and perform you know and suddenly itne saal baad when i have to like you know remember 3 4 pages it was actually a task but yeah it was a very very difficult task and thank god wo moment nahi aaya where i was forgetting lines i'm very disciplined like that abhishek you work with so many co stars in your career and i have had so much respect for them if i have to ask you which co star comes to your mind when i say the words akela hi kafi hai someone who's extremely versatile a multitasker and a one man show akela hi kafi hai i think rajkumar rao he, he can just full of any any character so you know yeah he should actually do a film where he's he's the only actor <laughs> like why not Like Sunil that did in Yadhi. Exactly, exactly. Like Vinod Khanna did a film, I think, like that. I forgot the name. Acha. He did a film. Yeah, yeah. One, he was alone in the whole film. Alone in the room, man. You know, I forgot the name, but I've seen that. Not Acha Nakna. Huh? Not Acha Nakna. I don't remember the name, sir. I mean, completely. Very kills his wife. Not that, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, Abhishek. Thank you so much for being in. I told you I'll make it swift and snappy. Thank no, no, you so no, much. No, no. For being thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank for you so much. Me. You can help your favorite stars join his league of winners by voting for them to get nominated for the My Glam Filmfare OTT Awards. Log on to filmfare.com or head to the My Glam app.